What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel, welcome to another Pokemon Sword and Shield VGC 2021 Series 8 video. Now, apologies for the lack of in-game content, I still have to get my team in-game, I think I should be able to finish it by tonight's live stream, which I go live at 5pm CST, if you guys want to check me out, link in the description, I might take some viewer battles for Series 8 stuff there, but today, we're doing some more discussion stuff, and I want to talk about the Pokemon that are restricted Pokemon that cannot Dynamax. Now, these are the original legendaries from Pokemon Sword and Shield, and I want to go over in what situation you might use them and why I believe that Zacian is probably objectively the best one of all these three. So yeah, uh, if you guys enjoyed this video at any point in time or learn anything new, do me a favor, leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications because I bring you daily Pokemon Sword and Shield VGC content and answer my comment question of the day. Which of these Pokemon are you going to try out first? I'm really interested to see what you guys come up with and how are you going to use it? So yeah, so of course the three Pokemon that are incapable of Dynamaxing are the legends from Sword and Shield being Zacian, Zamazenta, and Eternatus. Now, what I have here are some pretty basic spreads, except for Eternatus. Eternatus is a spread that I made on stream the other day. Um, and what I want to talk about are what they can do in the format, right? So, Zacian and Zamazenta have two forms each. They have the uncrowned form, the I believe it's called a Hero of Many Battles form. And they both have the same base stats, but the only thing that changes are the move pools, the ability, and the typing. So, as you can see, Zacian here, like, it gets a direct upgrade by being in the crowned form. The only issue is you can't run a different item other than Rusted Sword. However, I will say that there might be a reason to use Choice Band occasionally. I just believe that Zacian Crown is an objectively better choice. Uh, but if you were to try to use the you know, the hero of many battles form, um, you would just run like Jolly Max Max, and the only way you would get anything out of this, in my opinion, would be running a choice band. Because when you do the math, this thing hits well over 400 attack when you include the choice band and Intrepid Sword, since it's 1.5 times 1.5. Um, that would just get, that would give you like a nuke on every Pokemon. Um, and it does outclass the attack stat just barely, uh, or not just barely, it's actually by a decent amount. Uh, however, you lose things like Steel Stab, Steel Resistances, and Fairy Steel is just like the best typing ever. So there's a lot you're missing out on. On top of that, your overall stats go down. Your defenses stay the same, right? Your bulk's the same. However, your attack stat, your base attack stat, um, is dropped to 130 and your base speed is dropped and I just don't think it's worth running this thing because of the base speed However, I will tell you that you know if you want to nuke something with play rough I suppose you could do that if you want to nuke a Kyogre with wild charge I suppose you could do that 138 isn't a terrible speed tier But I think that 148 is something you're gonna to want to aim for most of the time Especially if you're facing opposing Zacian who can literally just hit you with a behemoth blade and one shot you <laughs> So that's something to keep in mind uh, So yeah, Zacian choice band, whatever, non-crowned form, I would say is probably the worst of these options. Now, if we get into Zacian crowned, probably the best of these options. As you can see, it has an amazing uh, stat spread, 92 HP, 170 attack with an automatic plus one on switching, 115 defense, 80 special attack, 115 special defense, and 148 speed, an insane stat spread, allowing it to outspeed things like Dragapult, and underspeed things like uh, the Calyrex shadow form, which isn't, you know, a positive, but it's something to note. It's in between it's in between Dragapult and Calyrex. So what does this thing have going for it? Well, for one, phenomenal bulk. 92 HP, 115 defense, 115 special defense. Yes, it's the same as these, uh, as the uh, regularization, but you do have a better typing overall. Behemoth Blade is an incredible move that allows you to hit Dynamax Pokemon for essentially as if they didn't Dynamax at all since it, it doubles in base power and they have double HP. So it's, I believe, about the same amount of damage. Um, you're able to run similar moves like Wild Charge, Player from Close Combat. Uh, however, I would say that Zacian Crowned is probably the best one just because it's able to hit things so absurdly hard with this Dynamax or with this uh, Behemoth Blade. On top of that, you don't even necessarily have to run Player Off. You could drop it for Protect because the Fairy coverage doesn't really hit too much in the format. Behemoth Blade will hit most things for more damage anyways. Wild Charge is great for hitting things like Kyogre. And a lot of people will start off by running Sacred Sword, but I feel like the standard will eventually become Close Combat because you'll be able to one-shot things like Stack Attack if you don't have a minus one attack or whatever. So yeah, this thing is really good. Uh, it has other moves it could run. You could try to run something like Crunch. I believe it gets Crunch. I might be wrong. Uh, it, it does get Psychic Fangs. It does uh, get Fire Fang and a couple of other coverage moves. However, I feel as though you're gonna very you're gonna be very hard pressed to find anything uh, that this thing does better besides like this stat spread or this EV spread, this attack. Um, these attacks, I mean, like yeah, you could maybe eventually drop some speed, run a little bit more bulk. 
uh, and people will do that. But for now, for the beginning of the format, when we're still figuring things out, you're going to want to run max max most of the time, just until things, you know, settle down. We figure out which archetypes are running around, which archetypes rule the metagame. And yeah, on top of that, not being able to dynamax means that, um, you're going to be able to, you're going to be able to like put value on a different dynamax Pokemon. Uh, for example, I have an Eternatus Lapras team that's still a work in progress. However, I feel like Lapras would be a very good Dynamax next to Zacian Crown, just because it's as bulky as most legendary Pokemon, and you get the screens on top of that. It's a very cool Pokemon in the metagame, and I feel like being able to, I don't know, Dynamax something like uh, a Colossal or a Venusaur, being able to have different options is going to be really cool when you're running Zacian teams. So yeah, I think Zacian Crown is a phenomenal Pokemon, probably the best of all these three. Next up, we have Zamazenta. And I have a very novel spread. I will say this is a novel spread and a novel idea. Uh, I don't think this is how most people are going to run it. You could run a choice band on this thing and it would be pretty strong. Uh, it would have the same attack stat as... Not the same attack stat because it wouldn't have Intrepid Sword. But it would have like a pretty similar attack stat as like Zacian if you were at minus one or something. Um, 138 speed is pretty good on this thing. You do drop that speed stat when you shift over to the armored form. However, you don't have as much defenses and you do lose a steel typing which might be good might be bad personally i think zamazenta missing on a behemoth bash is pretty bad for it however being able to run different items might be useful if you want to run a bit more of a supportive set on this thing i will say though if you're running one restricted pokemon per team it's very difficult to find a reason to make your restricted pokemon strictly a support set so that's something to keep in mind however i think that zamazenta the base form does have some things going for it I believe it does get access to things like Snarl. It does get dual screens and a very high speed stat, so maybe you could do something with that. Uh, these Pokemon do get access to Howl, and Howl might be something cool. However, I feel like most of the time you're going to run something like Crunch, Iron Head, Close Combat, Protect, and that's like the only reason. The only reason you would run this form would be to outspeed things like Tapu Koko, but at that point you would just run like Zacian Crowned. It's really just the fighting typing that makes this thing different from Zacian in that sense if you're running like the base form and the fighting typing is pretty cool because you can one shot things like stack attacka um but i guess the move pool is also pretty nice you know dual screens whatever psychic fangs i'm not sure if you could make a legitimate case to run this thing but having access to wide guard and stuff could be useful having access to dual screens could be useful the issue is there are so many better dual screens pokemon that the only way you would justify running this over grim snarl or regieleki would pretty much just be roll compression you're just fitting a lot of things into the same role uh, i will say though i did actually find something kind of cool about zamazenta crowned zamazenta crowned isn't as bad as I thought it would be. I feel like this thing has legitimate use in the format just because of Wide Guard and Scary Face. And Scary Face is something that you don't usually see, but given how bulky this Pokemon is and the lack of options moveset wise, like, yeah, you're gonna run Behemoth Bash, you're gonna run Close Combat, you don't need to run that much coverage with Steel and Fighting. I could actually see people running Wide Guard and Scary Face. Now, this thing has enough speed for, um, I believe I made it enough for like base 111 Pokemon, like the like the genies and stuff. So you're going to be outspeeding Thunderous. Being able to like hit Kartana or other slower Pokemon with Scary Face off of such a bulky Pokemon is kind of huge because you lower their speed, allowing your support Pokemon to knock them out. Imagine being able to slow down something like, um, I don't know, like an opposing whatever. What, what's another po Like a uh, Curum. Imagine you're facing like a Curum White and it's scary. You don't know what to do. Your best check to this thing is... Um, some random fighting type you have in your team, but it's not gonna outspeed it for some reason. And then you hit it with that scary face, or I guess, you know, this Kirin White isn't a good example. Just ignore the Kirin White, but it's a strong Pokemon that is scary and your best check isn't Zamazenta. You can hit it with a scary face and then knock it out with that Pokemon. That would be an interesting use for Zamazenta just to have. Yes, you could just run Protect or you could run Crunch or Player Off, whatever you wanted, but I could see some scary face usage. I could also see some Snarl usage. Snarl is a huge thing for Zamazenta to keep in mind. Snarl Wide Guard is great for beating things like Kyogre, so I I feel like that's really cool. Behemoth Bash still doubling on Dynamax Pokemon is pretty big considering it has 130 base attack. Yeah, it's not as strong as Asian, but if you want like a super roll compression Pokemon, something that is able to hit those Dynamax Pokemon for super powerful moves uh, or with super powerful moves and be able to support the team overall, Zamazenta Crown isn't as terrible as I initially thought it was, not when I took a deeper look at it. So yeah. Next up is Eternatus. Now Eternatus might be one of the weaker options, but it's a Pokemon I definitely want to explore even if it's just for the bulk. Now, Poison Dragon is something that Naganadal has. Um, it's like not a new typing at all, but uh, Dynamax Cannon doubling on Dynamax Pokemon is pretty big. I will say that like, 
Behemoth Bash and Behemoth Blade are probably better moves for hitting these Pokemon. But 145 base special attack is really huge. 130 base speed is really huge. And 140, 95, 95 is amazing bulk. Like I said, I have this thing on a Lapras team. I'm running a weakness policy on this guy because it's really easy to EV this thing to live hits even without like intimidate and stuff on the team. Just being able to hit things with like plus two Dynamax Cannon, being able to hit things with Flamethrower, like this is a Kartana check. Kartana does nothing to this team or to this Pokemon. Being able to go for Sludge Bombs on things like Venusaur, or I guess Flamethrower would do more, but being able to go for like Sludge Bombs on things like Tapu Fini and stuff is going to be really nice. And I could see this Pokemon seeing some usage. However, not being able to Dynamax and just overall not being able to like use those powerful max moves is a big hindrance, especially when you're a poison type that wants to be able to max ooze. You want to be able to run some kind of flying move to be able to max airstream, but unfortunately you can't with this Pokemon and that's really, really annoying. I could see some usage here. It does get scary face for some speed control, but if you're going to run this thing, I would say all out offenses is the best way to go with it. You have no idea how bad I want to be able to use like Eterna Beam and Dynamax to have one of the strongest Max Mormons ever. Uh, but unfortunately, that's just not a reality with Eternatus. Maybe you could run something with like Brutal Swing to activate a, a Metagross Weakness Policy or something. But I don't see this thing being good until we hopefully eventually get to run two Pokemon next to each other. Because I could see Eternatus being a nice secondary uh, restricted Pokemon. But yeah. Uh, let me know what you guys think of all these Pokemon in the comment section down below. These were just my thoughts on the non-Dynamaxing uh, restricted Pokemon. I want to know what you guys think. Comment down below if you enjoyed the video or if you have something to share. Leave a like if you enjoyed. And with that, I'm going to call it. Have a nice night and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.